Hey everyone, it's Stepan with Claire Online Video and welcome to this quick tutorial on using the Red Giant Instant 4K application in Adobe Premiere Creative Cloud 2015. For those of you unfamiliar with Red Giant products, this will be a nice introduction to show you how powerful some of their software is. We're going to focus on Instant 4K in this video, but feel free to check out their entire bundle of software on redgiant.com. Instant 4K allows you to convert low resolution footage into usable 4K footage. It works with both Adobe Premiere and After Effects. Now, please keep in mind that any converted footage will not match the exact quality of your 4K footage. The idea here is that you don't have to completely throw away your old footage. Instead, using this workflow can give you some nice results and allow you to deliver in 4K. Now I've purchased this software and have it downloaded and installed on my system. In my workflow, I've got some 4K footage that was shot with the drone and some other B-roll that was shot in 1080 HD. My timeline is set with the 4K dimensions, and as you can see, the 1080 footage is much smaller than my 4K clip. In order to get the 1080 clip to match my 4K settings, I'll run the Instant 4K effect. First, I'm going to navigate over to the Effects tab and do a search for Instant 4K. Once I find it, I'll go ahead and drag this effect over to my 1080 clip. Now, nothing happens right away. Instead, we have a series of options when converting the clip. Navigate to the Effects Control tab of the 1080 clip, and you can see that Instant 4K shows up with its own controls. Click the triangle to expand these options. The first option we see is the output size. Here you have several different presets that Red Giant has included. In my case, I know that the drone footage has dimensions of 3840 by 2160. So I'm going to go with these dimensions and select the fit to height or width option. You can test either one of these to see what gives you a better result. Once you complete that step, the rest of the controls below allow you to dial in certain settings even further. I'm hoping to get the best results possible and file size is not an issue in my situation. Therefore, I'll go ahead and choose the best option under filter type. There are some more options below filter type to further fine tune your conversion. With sharpness, Red Giant recommends that you use a value from two to six for best results. I'll go with six. The quality and anti-aliasing options let you adjust the edges and smoothness of your conversion. Feel free to experiment, but know that raising these values too far may create a distorted and undesired final result. The final step in the workflow is to render your project. Once your render is complete, you can play back your video to see the real-time results. As you can see, Instant 4K did a pretty good job in turning the 1080 clip into a usable 4K clip. I highly recommend this product if you're expecting to start mixing in old footage with your newer 4K video. With a few clicks and adjustments, you can reuse your old collection of stock footage and use it in future projects with larger dimensions. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out my other tutorials here on Streaming Media Producer.